Yeah, but I was, I was one of them cats. I would have to go to the store. You know, it wasn't them, on, it wasn't them online platforms. And right. if I run across some of these artists that I've seen in these magazines, I would actually buy their tape, not hearing one song. You know, right, I right. just get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just fuck up it. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So with that being said, I feel like I feel like I could I could actually be a good A and R too. Right. You know? Because, you know, you got to have an ear and listen to be an A&R. Right. So let me ask you this. All right, we got a street Paul Louisiana. Um, rapper, you know what I'm saying? Um, explain the, the, the music climate in Shreveport. Like, you know, you got the um, uh, most notably known as far as like on a national scale. Uh, Hurricane Chris with the A-Bay Bay song that came out, uh, I want to say 06, 07, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, and that's pretty much national scale. Like, why do you think, you know what I'm saying, nobody's really checking for music here in Shreveport? Um, uh, but let me ask you before you ask that, uh, is, is there any notable rapper that you can... You know, well, I mean, we don't, let me say this: Is there any notable, any notable rappers off the head that you could come up with that you know that needs a look? And and if he miss out on anybody, y'all, you know, you know. I mean, I, I it's, it's it's a bunch of you know right. what I'm saying, and I really can't say you right. know why you know we're not looked at like that, and and maybe we are. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not sure on that. Yeah, and I'm not. On the outside looking in, I'm actually in. Right, you I got what you. Saying? So I don't know if the outside is actually looking for anybody from here like that. Right. But to not have the notoriety that we should have, mm-hmm. um, I I really don't. I, I I know one thing that it boils down to is unity amongst the artists. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's like that, that's important. Everybody want to be the man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which is is just do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's enough in the game for everybody to be the man in their own right. Right. But to push the city and the culture of the city forward, we all have to be on one accord. Right. And help each other. You know, you 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 build a step, you pull somebody else up, they build a step. Mm-hmm. Pull somebody else up, they build a step. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all you know, I you know, you hate to keep putting stuff back on the line artists, even though some of them beef too, but that's what they do majority. In, right. You know, as a whole. Right. Um but here, um, it's a lot of them. Um, uh, just, I, just, just name. Uh, I feel like, I feel like, a, a few of your favorite artists from here. Oh, Wild Yellow. Okay. Uh, Pop. Okay. Um, I like my boy Sneaky D. Okay. Okay. Um, um, little nephew Sod, little man. He, he making a lot of little noise. Um, right. Uh. And he's up and coming. Yeah, he's up okay. and coming. Yeah, okay. he, he's he's making a lot of little noise right now. Um, okay. You know, uh, I rock with you know B Will. Okay. Um, let me okay. see. Uh, it's it's a it's a few more. Um, right. It's a few more. Oh, this cat named um, this cat named Truth. He pretty nice. Okay. Um, okay. It's a, it's a few more, man. I I, I don't. I don't want to feel like I'm leaving nobody out, but it's a bunch. It's a bunch of talent here. You right. know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of talent here. Right. Um, because it, it's a, um, I had an interview with KP um, two weeks ago, and uh, and I asked him pretty much the same question, and he was just like, you know, uh, his response was pretty much the same as yours. He's like, man, it's, it's a lot of talent here. You know what I'm saying? But he, he uh, maybe we need to do more. But that's the whole purpose of why I, why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? It's it's to build a platform to where we can. Uh, Cause you never know, like with social media, we gonna get to social media in a minute. Because I know the power of, of social media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know you do too as well. Because you never know who's watching these videos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's the whole purpose of this podcast. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it create media, uh, or well, create platforms for guys like you and others that just need to be seen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I know, like you know, it's a lot of talent here. Um, but. You know, and I know sometimes I know as an artist, you sit back and be like, because, and, and you're a very unselfish person. It ain't got to be you first. No. You know what I'm saying? Just no. get somebody get a shot. You no. know what I'm saying? No, because I I, I know in, in my own right, I don't I don't need the position to be the man. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't look at it like that. Mm-hmm. I, especially as 
as deep in the game as I am now, I'm, right. I'm, I'm more on the level of, of want to get something established to help other cats, you know what I'm saying? Right. And to try to, you know, guide some cats, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's just, that's just my thing, even though I still make my music, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm, I kind of want to see these other cats get it and don't have to go through it as hard as I had to go right. through it. But they got it a lot easier now anyway right. with the internet. You know? and, that's, and, that, and that's what I was just about to go into. Um, Cause early in the interview, you said uh, you was putting two radios together, pressing them at the same time, and rapping like that. Yeah, you know, just, so basically, you cre basically you created a studio. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So no mic, yeah, right? No mic, no, mic. Radio. no nothing. Just just get it in. When you play the tape back. You gonna get a lot of air. Right, <laughs> right. But but but, but, but but you on there. Hey, yeah, but I'm on there. Right. Right. Hit me on there, but hey, man. Right. Yeah, dudes, yeah, dude. You know what I'm saying? And with, with and like you were saying, like with technology now, um, really, there's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? Because you can you can shoot straight to the masses. Yeah, you know and that saying? goes even 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 when I put out that first CD, that plain and simple. I went to Best Buy because I needed a. All right, I got the CD done. Mm -hmm. It's not the studio. It's done. We're complete. Right. I need to press up some damn CDs, some kind of way. Right. Like, cheap. Well, I'm hustling. Okay, well, shit, I can go to this maker, mm -hmm. get, a, get something pressed up mm -hmm. over here, which is cool, but I also need something in the house. Right. Well, I didn't have the money to go buy the, the tower burner uh -huh. with the Best Buy. They had an analog burner. Mm -hmm. The last one <laughs> of the, the display. <laughs> bought it for like 70 bucks. Yeah. An analog burner. You put it <laughs> that was the, that was the last one. That was, that was the last one. Right. And that was my CD pressing machine. Took it to the house, mm -hmm. and it burnt CDs. But it took one CD took by five minutes. <laughs> so I would have to sit there all day. You know what I'm saying? But you know that that was that was the dedication of it. I would have to. Well, I'm gonna dedicate today to that strictly burning CDs. Right. Just knowing I'm gonna sit there all day. Burning CDs, you know what I'm saying. So that was just the dedication of it, and I was selling my truck on my car. You right. Know what I'm saying? So, well, say man, y'all can buy these damn CDs. <laughs> hey. I've been here all day, all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I mean, but like I say, now you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? They can go. Mm -hmm. You can, you can. Like I was telling you, got them on Wave Five now. Wave Five. Son, man, we can, we can drop a CD tonight. Right. We can do six songs tonight. Mm -hmm. Put them through a little, a little good mixing program. Right. Not even mastering it. Right. And put it on the internet. Mm -hmm. One, two in the morning. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's that. But right. you know that's that's the technology. You know what I'm right. saying? That's the advancement of the technology. You right. know what I'm saying? Shit. Your own boss for real. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's why I say they got it a lot easier than I had it back then. You know what I'm saying? If 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 it was like that back then, well, right. shit, man, hey man. Right. It'd be a whole different ball game. So let me ask you this. Um, Coming from the streets, you know what I'm saying? Seeing a lot of crime, you know what I'm saying? Seeing a lot of uh, hardships, you know what I'm saying? What goes on in the hood, you know? Um, um, did you put any of that in your music? Or, well, let me ask you this. How, how would you label your music then? Just then, how would you label it? If you, if you were to give it a title, what would you call it? The same thing I call it now. What? Reality rap. Reality rap. It's, Facts. It's, it's, it's reality. You know what I'm saying? My my whole, my life is in that music. Right. If it's something, if there's anything you need to know about me, it's, it's in that music. Right. You know what I'm saying? If, if you have any questions about anything about me, it's in that music. Just listen to the song. Just listen to the music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? My, my life is in that music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you went from reality rap, um... Basically, like you just said, you just you just you just putting what you see, putting what you experience, writing what you see. Yeah. Um, which is, which is a great segue into what we're about to discuss now. Uh, conscious music, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause that's a that, that that's a that's a big that's gonna always gonna be a big thing in, in hip hop. Um, Tupac was a conscious. Tupac was conscious. Um, you got J. Cole's, you got your um, even Scarface. Yeah. Um, um, what, can I say Tali Kweli? Oh, definitely. Okay, Tali Kweli. Um, um, let's see. Some are, well, reason, reason why I'm, 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 I'm saying certain names because 
some artists only get conscious on a few records. Yeah. Then you have some guys that just say, look, I'm going to paint this picture and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise awareness. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, talk about this project that, that you have. Um, one, one of your conscious record songs. That, well, I, that just, you I, just, I just, I, I mean, you know, even with, like I say, the music, it's, like my whole life is in the music. Um, and, and a lot of times, you know, if you listen, if, if you ever listen to the music, um, you would notice I was, I would always speak on certain conscious things. Okay. Because I was always aware. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? You know how they say, you stay woke, you, you woke. Now, I've been woke. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I didn't use the music platform to push that gotcha. agenda forward. Gotcha. Like I have been doing lately. Right. But I still do. The, the the sack that people know me for, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I just also felt like it was time. To try. And, 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 and what and what was that thought process to? Uh... It it really was it really it went it really was a plan. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? It was just something. I got some tracks, mm -hmm. and I was writing to the tracks, and it's just something that came out. It just it, came out. Gotcha. Yeah, it was it was a song called Black Man, mm -hmm. and um, like I say, who, just, who produced who produced that? Oh, uh, my boy Big Snow. Okay. Um, Shout out to Big Snow. Yeah, shout out to Big Snow. Um, but it just came out like that. And when I recorded, because he was so used to me, you know, he, he was used to the sack, you know, the, the, right. the shit that I do, the reality rap, the right. so-called G shit, you know, right. some shit like that. So once I got this track and he was he was finna record it, I said, say, man, you, you ready for some political shit? Right. And he was like, what you got? What you talking about? Right. I said, well, I'm just saying, you, I, I'm finna... I'm finna shift lanes right quick. Right, right. You know, are you are you ready for it? You know what I'm saying? Do can you you know are you ready to hear me rap talk this type of shit? Right. You know what I'm saying? In depth like that. Mm -hmm. So he was like, yeah. So I drop it. He was like, damn man, that shit that dope. You know what I'm saying? He was mm -hmm. like, what made you think of that? No, it just came. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just right. through the process. When I heard the track, that's what I heard. Right. Um, A lot of people don't know like uh, cause I, I've shared that, that that same feeling uh, especially when you're a true artist when you when you Get them certain beats. The, the track automatically talks to you. Yeah, yeah, it talks you know to you. Saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and with within that, you know what I'm saying? I, I shot the video for it, put it out, got a nice good response for it. But in the mix, mm -hmm. um, how can they find it on YouTube? Um, you can go to my YouTube page or okay, or Big Sack or YouTube.com or Sack the DNA. Okay, um, you can just search Big Sack B I G S. And that and that record you talking about is on it. Yeah, it's gonna come up. Okay, um, but um. Like I say, in the in the midst of all that, I had a couple partners of mine. Um, they um, you and I A members. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. um, the Universal Negro Improvement Association. Um, right. Well, they um, they wanted to try to put some stuff together. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, so let me ask you something. So is this is this the same? People that's connected to the person that had the song, or this, or this, when you put the record out, you met these these other people, or you already knew them. I knew them. I knew. I knew. Um, I had already knew them, but I didn't know that they were actually into the music like that too. And and the thing about it was they were. You know how how you have this, but it it kind of seemed like, in a sense, to where like I ain't nobody gonna pay attention to this if I put this out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's kind of like they had the music and they had stuff that they wanted to touch on, but it, they, they just didn't have a push and drive to want to put it out because it, it was almost saying, ain't nobody going to want to hear this. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's going to get overlooked. Right. Well, once I done my project and um, we shot at, at my boy, one of them, um, Yazir, we shot it at his, at his store. He mm -hmm. has a... Uh, 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 yeah, I saw the video. Black, was it, was it the bookstore? Book yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I yeah, remember saying that. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Cultural black history stuff okay. in the store. Um, so um, it's like a Nubian store. Right. So uh, so let me ask you something. So everything just just fell right into place? Fell right into place. So, like I say, when I shot the video, um, they were the pitching ideas at me. Right. Which I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm with it, you know what I'm saying? I rock with, you know what I'm saying? I rock with y'all, whatever. One of them, you know, uh, my boy B, he he was he was supposed to be in the video, but he wasn't there at the time. He was out of town. Okay. And um, 
but they start pitching ideas like, man, we can do this, you know what I'm saying, this and that. So I was like, cool. So we ended up getting a couple songs. So I was like, well, man, we might as well just make it like a, a group project instead of making it y'all featuring me or, or me featuring y'all. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like, so we came up with um, with Origin. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Um, which which stood for uh, which stands for uh, original righteous indigenous mm -hmm. uh, niggas. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, I can't tell <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, um, Organized? No. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. But anyway. But yeah, yeah I, I, I get what you're saying. But anyway, um, I can't think of it right off the top of my head. My bad, fellas. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, we came up with Origin, and we ended up putting together a bunch of songs. And right. like I say, they, they all towards the conscious movement. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just for... Yeah, especially what's going on with, with America now, uh, yeah. which, which has always been going on, especially you, know, you, have the, you have the Colin Kaepernick stuff going on. We got the president, uh, you know, with uh, a lot of stuff that's going on with that, uh, with the police brutality, you know what I'm saying? Then we have, you know, just a big push of, you know what I'm saying, pro-black, yeah. you know what I'm saying, um, togetherness, you know what I'm saying? So it, everything really just, like I say, because some things that just, it lined up the way it's supposed to line up. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? it, uh, Origin, it stands for Original Righteous Gods, Intelligent Niggas. That's ah, I like that. I like yeah, that. Original like that. Righteous Gods, Intelligent Niggas. Right. But um, uh, Niggas with the N-E-G-U-S, which means God. You know what I'm saying? Mm, um, mm. I like how y'all put that together, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But mm. um, like I say, we end up putting together, you know, a couple songs. Like I say, they pretty dope songs. We got, uh, we got probably about like six songs. Okay. Now, um, we're in the process of trying to shoot one of the videos. We shot one already. Um, get up, stand up. Okay. Um, which we got a lot of help from the Muslim community, the UNIA community, and uh -huh. the Black Panthers mm -hmm. in the video. That's, that's what's up, that's, man. That's also on my YouTube too. You can search that too. Get up, stand up. Yeah. Um, but like up. I say, it's just it's just more conscious music, and you know, like I say, if, if you always listen to me, you would notice I would drop few jewels here and there right, to right. let you know that I was aware but right. just to push the whole thing forward was, right. was something that I I wanted to do and it mm -hmm. was good that mm -hmm. they wanted to do it too because I actually have some people right, that's right. in that core with me you right. know what I'm saying so and that's man like coming from here you don't you don't really have that right you know what I'm saying coming from here everybody want to sound the same everybody right. want to sound the same thing right. you know so, so and, 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 I, and I tell people all the time um, anybody can get on the, on the track, you know what I'm saying? Uh, rat tat tat. Uh, yeah. I got the car on this, and I got I'm, I'm I got on a Gucci belt. But a, a lot of artists can't put, like you just said, reality rap and what's going on into a song format. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Cause it's just so. I mean, now, now don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with what I'm talking about. As far as like with the with the dope selling and with the with the fascinating stuff. I'm just saying a lot of a lot of artists can't put real stuff into song format, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's, it's just so easy to talk about clothes and jewelry and all that. That's too easy to yeah. do, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So so I got to applaud you for that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if everybody's shining, then who's broke? Right, right, if everybody right. everybody's the dope man, then right. who's buying the dope? Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right. you know, and, you know or, or you're not in tune with, like, actually what's going on with us right. and our people. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know. Well, in other words, with somebody making some money, somebody mad because uh, nigga just sold it, sold the TV. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, for real. Right. Like, for real. Now, now let me ask you, now, let me say this, bro. Um, To go all with, like I say, just to summarize everything, to go from just rapping with two radios to um putting out your first project, to um, I mean no, to um, doing the making a hit song, swinging elbows, to putting out your own album, um, to pressing up CDs one by one. You know what I'm saying? Buying the last display, uh, audio device on the shelf, to stand true to yourself, to making conscious music. Now I always to a point to where you got a couple records with your one of your sons. Yeah. How how is that, bro? Like like that that got to be like that's that's like bucket list type stuff right there, bro. You know, everybody don't get a chance to do that right there. How was that experience and, and how did that come about? 
It just came about um, organically, man. Mm -hmm. It wasn't planned. Mm -hmm. um, he just had a song. I was, I was working on him a project, um, and I wanted to make sure he had his stuff together before we went to the studio. So gotcha. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't waste no time. You right. know what I'm saying? And um, so, right. like I say, he had this one particular song that he couldn't, he hadn't finished yet. Right. Or whatever. So, I had, um, I was asking him, you know what I'm saying, right. you know, to finish the song, you know what I'm saying, can you finish, well, what you got, he was, he, he was at writer's block, which I get it, because okay. we, you know what I'm saying, we artists, we come into writer's block. Right. So, um, you know, he just, <laughs> I just asked him, um, yeah. you know, shit, well, well, damn, well, damn. So, I really was joking, and I was like, you, you want me to get on it, you right. know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah. Yeah, 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 you get on it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was like, shh, man, no, I'm just playing, man. I don't want to get on your song. So the next day, well, I went on and wrote something anyway, thinking that he was going to have something. But So you just, you just okay, you just, oh, well, shit, well, I'm going to keep a strap in it. I'm just going to keep one in the tilt just in case. Yeah, just in case. And, and hey, he that's, really, that's just some true artist shit right yeah, there, you know he, what I'm saying? And he really, he really did, didn't write nothing else because he, Felt like I was gonna get on it, you know, because I mentioned it. And I really was joking, but I went ahead on roast some the night before, and we went to the studio. So you know what I'm saying? I I done my verse, and, and he was tripping. He like, man, how you gonna get on my song and go harder than me? <laughs> well, I really don't feel like I went harder than him. It, it kind of summed it up. But like you say, man, that just happened organically, and, and and you're right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't don't get to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, so what we gonna do it, man? Because I've been down to meet this young man. Go ahead, go ahead, have a seat, man. Go ahead, join the interview, man. This, this is the young guy we talking about. Scoot up a little bit for me. Oh, let, let me get both of y'all in the shot there. All right, man, state your name. You know what I'm saying? Like my rap name or my government? It's, uh, your rap name? Uh, um, JR. JR? Okay, yeah, JR. Look at me, I know you got all the girls. You know what I'm saying? I, I can tell y'all already. How are you, man? Um, I'm 13. 13? Yeah. So, let, me, let me ask you something, man. Uh, your father, I'm, I'm gonna call him a rap legend, and I know about that being your dad. I know he got to, he, he got to be a rap legend to you as well. And the thing about it is, um, how did you get into music? What was it? Cause I, I know what your daddy told me, but I want to know Jr's introduction into music real quick. Um, well, like I really got into music cause like right. Like all my life, like I've been listening to music. Right. Like I've been around music for all my life. Right. Like when I was little, mm -hmm. he used to take me to the studio with him right. a lot. Right. And that's how I really got like into it. Right. Music. So it's all like you you been you been stressing this word right here all day organically. Yeah. So with him, you just being yourself. Yeah. Hey, come on to the studio. It picked up in him. Well, I mean, it wasn't just come on. He had to go. I was kidding. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know that's my son. Right, right, right. I wasn't at work or nothing, so I'm going to keep my son. You right. know what I'm saying? So I was keeping him. You right. know what I'm saying? He was with me every day. And and, and during that time, I was recording a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. he was there. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, come on, go. He right. had no choice. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so Jay, okay, so you seen your daddy rapping. So at, at what point did you say, man, you know what, man? I'm a, let me see what I can do, man. Or was was you scared for him to hear you rap? <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, he ain't gonna like this. Right. And we all know your dad; he's a perfection. So, so how, how did you feel when when you first rapped to you? When he first rapped to me, I was I was surprised that he actually did it because I had been trying to get him to do it. He had been mentioning it. Okay. But he hadn't did it. Then one day he just got comfortable enough to let me hear something. You knew he was ready, but you just didn't know. I didn't, I didn't even know he was ready. Okay. And when I heard it, the thing about it is when I heard it, I was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I could tell. The thing, what, what, what tripped me out was he had an actual verse and he had a whole, he had a hook. Mm. So I under, I knew he understood his song pattern right. without me teaching it to him. Mm. Because, now I'll take you back to me. Mm -hmm. Didn't nobody teach me 16s and a verse. Right. I put it together from listening to songs. Right, right. So obviously he did the same thing I did because I didn't teach him that. Right. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Then it, 
His little words was round. He's making sense. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't right. just nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just told him, I said, man, your son, keep it up. You know okay. What I'm so he kind of smirked, gave me a little smile. That, that, that smirk right there? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, keep it up. You be all right. You know what I'm saying? Just keep right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to just give him the, oh, man, you dope. Then at that point, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? Because I don't just want, you know, what I'm you saying? don't want him to settle. Yeah, I don't want him to settle. Right. You know what I'm saying? I said, keep writing, son. You're mm -hmm. something. You're all right. And I told him then, I said, well, you got song format down. I can tell you that much because I ain't teach you how to write a 16 and right. I ain't teach you how to write a hook. Mm -hmm. So you got that down pat because mm -hmm. majority of the time when you hear people and they first come out, all they have is a verse. You know what I'm saying? They don't right. Have a hook. But or he had it all. He had a hook and everything. Yeah, or they might have a catchy hook, right. but don't have a verse. Mm -hmm. You know, but he had the whole. The whole nine off the rip. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the nine is. I still don't know what the nine is. No, the whole nine mean like you got the whole package. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole thing, yeah. I thought that was like so No, then, you can't write no nine. You're gonna either have uh eight, six, twelve, twelve yeah. sixteen. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you something, Jay. Um uh, who are some of your influences? Or like well, who you listen to? Who who on your playlist right now? Um Um Meek Mill. Okay. Okay. Um, Eminem. Hold up, new Meek or old Meek? Both. Okay, yeah, both, okay, bet. Both, both, both. Um, what about, let me, let me help you out. What about, you like the Migos? I don't really like them, like, for real, because, like, they, I don't really, I don't really like, like the, like, because they mumble rap. The only mumble rappers that, like, I like are, like, right. um, like Uzi. Is like Uzi, yeah, okay. That's, that's, no, Uzi, Gunner, and Little Baby. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And um, some old influences, or um, I could say. Like, Let me ask you this: How do you are you plan on taking this to the to the top? Doing you plan on doing this for yeah. real? Yeah, I think if I keep pushing it, like where I'm at now, if I keep pushing it for about like four. Three years, uh, right. Because right. at the end of the day, I tell people this all the time. Um, when you see, like, like the people we just mentioned, when you see the Migos, when you see the little oozes, when you see the little babies, guess what? They started just like you. You know what I'm saying? They started just like you with the ambition, you know what I'm saying? With dreams and goals. And, and you stay in there so long, sometimes you'll get your shot. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be ready for the. You ready for the? And I know your daddy going. Cause it ain't all about just making music. Cause you know temptation come with it. Girls, a lot of money, traveling, uh, haters. You know what I'm saying? So what what they say? Rap, rappers being one of the most dangerous jobs in America. You know what I'm saying? That, well, that's that's what they say. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I say, um, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. You can do it. Um, yeah. Don't put no tattoos on your face, man. Like, don't do that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> no, 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 we ain't going there. Yeah, we ain't going there. <laughs> no tattoos on the face, huh? Yeah, right. right. So let me ask you this. Um, have you really just, just, just really put into real thought, like, hey, man, I got a song with my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw the video. Explain that. What's the name of the video uh, to y'all, the song that y'all Growing pain. Yeah, there you go, man. There you go, Bob. There you go, Sack. Growing pains, man. Okay, let me ask you this. How did you come up with that song? Um, I was. No, um, we was dropping off my older brother. Okay. And he was listening to Wiz Khalifa album. Okay. And um, it was a song on there. I forgot what the name of the um, song was. Okay. But like I pulled out my phone, I typed it down in my notes because the the beat was fire, so I typed it down in my notes. When I got back here, mm -hmm. I had looked it up. I had looked up the instrumental on mm -hmm. YouTube, and I just started writing the song to it. Right. And the beat was like four minutes long. So I, I, I like that. I like how you broke that down like that. Um, and your dad didn't, didn't know what you were doing. You just heard something. Like man, hold on, you look. He do that constantly. You know what I'm saying? And that and that that's a that's a great thing to do because. That shows that you are interested and you are eager to find the answers to yep. what you're looking for, and you, you you you're interested in it. Um, you took time out to go and find it and create it, created some off a of thought. You know what I'm saying? So that's always a good thing. I don't care what what you're doing in life. That's always a great thing to do. 
You know what I mean? So, and and you don't know this, but I'm going to tell you now. But when I saw y'all on the video, when I saw... Yeah, you don't know this, but... Uh, I, when your daddy shared the video, I called him. I said, hey, man, that's that's incredible. You know what I'm saying? Because... Cause I asked him, I'm like, I was like, man, how did how did you feel? I asked, I asked him, like, how did you feel doing a song with your son? Everybody don't get to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? So, what was your experience? Cause I saw y'all had to sing, y'all was in the car. You know what I'm saying? How was that experience for you? Um, it was, it was, it was crazy. On um, on the part where like we was in the car, I had, yeah. I was messing up, I was laughing. I can, I can look <laughs> well, what, like, what, what dad, what dad teaching you about video, how to do? Yeah, like, <laughs> he was coaching you out there. Yeah, you gotta have a straight face. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. It's just a surreal moment. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. It's just a real surreal moment. Mm -hmm. Because, like you say, a lot of people don't don't get to do that. And right. You know. And what made it even more surreal was that it was it wasn't planned. You know right. A lot of times, you know, organic. Yeah, a lot of times you can plan <laughs> that shit, but that shit wasn't planned. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And hell, yeah, we had we had a hell of a night nice shooting video. Shit wasn't going right. Mm -hmm. so, it was up till like three o'clock in the morning. About three something in the morning, like them 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 scenes was in the middle of the night. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, it it, it ended up working out for the bill. You know what I'm saying? We've been getting a good response off of it. Still to this man. day, you know what I'm saying? It's been out probably about what four months now. Mm -hmm. We still get a good response off of it. But the thing about him that I like, um, artist wise, mm -hmm. um, especially at his age, mm -hmm. um, is the substance. Right, you know, right. He has some substance. Right. Um and it's not it's not forced. He just he give a lot of what he see. Right. Um, what he heard mm -hmm. and a lot of things that he know, you know right. what I'm saying, from his surroundings and from the people um, in his life as far as me, his cousin, you know, different people that he know that have some street dealings. Right. Um, he don't put himself in the shoes of right. things that he's not doing, right. you know what I'm saying? He just, it's sort just of like, himself. A, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, just, just, just like a, um, uh, analyzer, he just, mm -hmm. he just he's just giving you what he know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and, and I like that. You know what I'm saying. Um, like I say, you know, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. We keep pushing it. We gonna we gonna continue to try to you know put our stuff right or whatever. You know, so you know, that's that's other than myself. Mm -hmm. That's who I be investing in and trying to push. You know what I'm saying. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. And you can also find this stuff on the YouTube at, at King Jr. Yeah, King Jr. All right. Um, that's J R J A Y R. Yeah. What's your uh, Instagram? How can they follow you on Instagram? My Instagram is. What is it? It's J. It's J. It's J R four zero seven. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I lost. I lost my old Instagram. Mm -hmm. So. It's J R four J A Y R. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. That's important. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, J A Y R four zero seven. All right. How can they find you on Instagram? Big Sack. Oh man, Sack the Great. Everything is Sack the Great. S A C C D A G R E A T. Facts. That's um, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, all that. You can find all that. Um, yeah, if you want to look me up at Facebook? Search Big Sack. I'll come up. Gotcha. Hey man, I'm glad y'all came to the Day Party Podcast, man. Debut, debut on your albums, talking about your life story, Big Sack. You got your son doing records. Oh, man, go to iTunes, man, and purchase, purchase my son project, man. JR, JAYR, or uh, Inner Thoughts, about seven dope banging tracks, man, from a youngster. You know what I'm saying? Um, good production, good good lyrics. I mean, you know, you'll. You enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Everybody I turned on to it enjoy it. So you can go to iTunes, get that. You can stream it on all platforms. Right. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? And be on the lookout for my last of a dying breed project. Facts. Facts. Day Party Podcast with your host, Go Lucky. And that's a wrap, baby. More interviews coming live like this right here. Shout to my brothers, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the love, man. And we're going to do more and more interviews in the future. You know what I'm saying? Years from now, we're going to look back on this and we're going to be like, look, man, look what we started and look what we at now. All right? Y'all stay tuned. Bang, 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 bang.